Welcome to my YouTube channel, and this channel is called WKISA. And for this video, we'll be looking at the subject N4 Electrotechnics. And the lesson we'll be covering is AC motors, which will be divided into two parts. First, we'll look at single phase AC motors, and then we'll take a look at three phase AC motors. Now, AC motors makes up 10% of the national curriculum for N4 Electrotechnics. Now, before we take a look at the three single phase AC motors that you need to know, I first wanna illustrate the advantages of three phase motors when compared to single phase motors. Now, three phase motors, the biggest advantage of all is that it is self starting. If you notice that the illustrations I have up on the screen, you'll notice that for three phase, we have three phases, meaning they are 120 degrees apart. So this implies when a motor has current at start, it automatically starts. However, with a single phase motor, you'll notice it only has one sine wave and therefore there's no phase displacement. So for a single phase motor to start, we need to create some sort of phase shift. Now, the other advantages of three phase motors is that they are smaller and cheaper because they don't need capacitors and all the different windings in order to start up the motor. Three phase motors are more efficient and they have a better power factor. Right, let's have a look at the first single phase AC motor, and that is the resistance start induction run motor. Now, if you take a look at the circuit diagram, you'll see we have a main winding, also known as the run winding, the start winding, also known as the, the auxiliary winding. We have the centrifugal switch, and we have the rotor. Now, the resistance starts induction run motor is mainly used in washing machines and the reason for that it has low torque. In terms of the operation, the start winding is wound with fewer turns and smaller diameter. Therefore, it has higher resistance and lower inductance than the main winding. When the motor starts, the current through the main winding will cause the voltage to lag behind the current. This lag splits the AC wave, which turns the rotor. Now let's take a look at the capacitor start induction run motor. Now, if you have a look at the circuit diagram, you'll see we have a main winding or run winding, the auxiliary winding known as start winding. We have a start capacitor, a centrifugal switch and a rotor. So we need to know how to draw the circuit diagram and we should also know the main parts of the circuit diagram. And you'll notice that there is only one capacitor in this circuit. Now the capacitor start induction run motor is commonly used for swimming pool pumps. And the reason for that it has higher torque. In terms of the operation, a capacitor start induction motor only has a capacitor in series with the auxiliary winding during starting. So as current passes through the start capacitor and the start winding, it creates a phase shift with the run winding because they are 90 degrees apart. And then this causes the rotor to start to turn. As the rotor gets to 80% operating speed, the centrifugal switch disengages and cuts out the start capacitor and start winding. Let's have a look at the capacitor start, capacitor run, induction run motor. So first of all, let's take a look at the circuit diagram. You'll notice we have the main winding, also known as the run winding, the auxiliary winding, also known as the start winding. We have a run capacitor and we have a start capacitor. So for this circuit diagram, there are two capacitors. The capacitor start, capacitor run, induction run motor is used in components or machines like air compressors. And the reason for this, it has highest torque. In terms of the operation, the capacitor start capacitor run motor has a cage rotor and its data has two windings known as the main and auxiliary windings. The two windings are displaced 90 degrees in space from each other. There are two capacitors in this method. One is used at the time of starting and is known as starting capacitor. The other one is used for continuous running of the motor and is known as run capacitor. 
Right, thanks very much for watching this video. We will be looking at three phase AC motors in the upcoming video for N4 Electrotechnics. Thank you.